Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Ethan Nestor video, and this one is pretty interesting. Trying the worst food combinations. So like, you know, let's say putting mayonnaise on certain foods or ketchup on certain foods. Like some stuff like that, or just eating weird food combinations, pretty much. So he's not alone in this one, and it's with this other guy not the one who had that weird you know wavy hair it's someone else so uh i might as well just get right into this and see what's going on here and you know what food combinations are they gonna do today <laughs> so let's find out so without for the uh, duh, let's react to this video shall we are you ready i don't know what I'm you ready we've never recorded a video together yeah, I'm a this is a different experience <laughs> Welcome everyone. Hi, I'm your humble host, Hot, hot Man. <laughs> I'm here with the beautiful, the bountiful, the. Give me another beat. Bombastic. Bombastic. Buxom. Buxom. Women. It means big boobs. Nandre. Nandre. TV world. We were asked by the great old internet, what's the craziest food you've ever eaten in combination with each other? And by the internet asked us, I mean, I thought we should try weird food combinations. What's with the shirt that Ethan's wearing? The teddy bear with SpongeBob? I didn't outsource it to the internet, but Jocelyn did outsource to friends of mine that work in the restaurant industry or are currently chefs. I don't want to call them out, but I feel like pregnant women especially have very strange food combinations. Gotta ask my sister-in-law. Yeah. Didn't it's too late. don't they have like <laughs> don't they get weird <laughs> cravings of food, certain well, foods for some reason? That's what I've heard, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> hey, what are you craving? <laughs> She's just screaming. <laughs> I don't know any of these food combinations. You don't know any of these food combinations. Actually, I do know one of them because I requested it. Have you ever put yellow mustard on mac and cheese? What? I don't like yellow mustard. Uh -huh. Do you like mac and cheese? In mac and cheese mm -hmm. is a little strange, but okay. I, I'm not opposed to this one. Bring it out, Doc. Yeah. Yellow mustard mac and cheese. Yellow, yellow mustard. That mac is and just cheese. Uh, that's just mustard, that just sounds cheese. wrong. <laughs> This it's like you're putting the, the mac and cheese sauce on the mus on the macaroni and cheese when it already is there, but you're putting mustard in it for some reason. Yeah, there's mustard. This is not the mac and cheese that I requested. Oh. No, 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 no. I said Annie's mac and cheese, the white cheddar Annie's mac and cheese. It's the purple box. Yes, I did. Those are good. I. Asked for Annie's mac and cheese, the white cheddar with the purple box. What are you even filming? Oh, sure. wow. Who cares? It's mac and cheese. It ain't gonna hurt. Fine. It's not as good as the the white cheddar. I think the white I guess he likes a specific really kind of mac and cheese, well, the one with yeah. white cheddar. <laughs> this is more mustardy than it is cheesy. Mm -hmm. I I think you're right. I think the uh, the ratio of cheese to cheese to mustard is all off because of the kind of cheese you know this is whatever this is you know american yellow stuff but if you went with a nice like a like a like a purple box i'm envisioning a purple box. <laughs> he's still <laughs> a salty box. what is that cheddar cheddar some, mild some kind of Shell, shell. He, he's still yeah, mild, so he's still salty maybe. about it that Joshua didn't for. get the specific one that he requested. We'll never know. I think I asked you in person, so you can't prove anything. It's <laughs> <laughs> a rating scale. We should we should nail that out. One one out of ten? Just a basic one out of ten. Yeah. This is inoffensive. Ten is like really good, right? Ten is like I would make this for a loved one. Are we going stars? Should we do, uh, can we do Neo? Are we gonna be like a Michelle, Dave so. Meltzer here? And yeah. five star? It's a five star classic. We gotta put an exploding super kick. It's only four stars, it didn't have any exploding super kick in it. <laughs> He's still salty about it. Like, he, poor, God forbid, a, you know, Jocelyn did not know that you wanted. Goddamn Annie's mac and cheese. Boxes. 
Bring on the next load. Since you were pulling something out of the dishwasher. <laughs> yeah, dishwasher meat. Apple pie and cheese. This is like a um, a Midwest classic here. People but I'm pretty, pretty sure it's, it's supposed to be cheddar. <laughs> pretty sure it's supposed to be white cheddar from a purple box. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is God, he's be still on that. He, he's never gonna let that down on pretty Jocelyn. Sure said all that stuff about the white cheddar, huh? Jo fucking apple pie with. Cheese. It's not bad. I didn't even taste the cheese. I'm going in for a second. You know what the problem with it is? It feels like I'm chewing flubber. Like, it's so. Flubber. I think is textures. There was really not a lot going on here. It's, it's not a lot to be desired. It just tasted like pie incredibly. I mm -hmm. cannot believe how little American cheese came through. Yeah, on it. I think that's a solid middle ground. A solid 5 out of 10. Cheese boxes. I, I like this more than I like the mac and cheese. Yeah. 5.5. 5 it looks <laughs> heinous. It does not look okay. Yeah. Really like looks wise, it doesn't look looks I appealing. Think that really did me in. But you ever eaten bugs before? A lot of the bugs oh, God. We all know he ha Ethan, Ethan has. For a random video and also in the sound. You're not actually eating mm -hmm. bugs. I'm kind of mixed with a couple things. This is uh, almond butter with pickles. Almond, almond butter with, with pickles. pickles. Uh, did you ever have peanut butter with pickles? I'm not a peanut butter lover. That was not my thing growing up. I have a question. Mm. How come there's turkey and cheese in it? I combined it. So people do pickles and peanut butter, or peanut butter and like their burgers or their sandwiches, and just combine them. Peanut butter and butter. I've had it. It's actually kind of good. Peanut butter and savory stuff isn't too strong. Really? Yeah. So yeah. that's not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if people have those weird food combos. There's I pizza don't mind burgers. Have overpower, which I don't mind because I like pickles. A diner that I went to had a pizza burger one time and I decided to try it. Oh boy. Not good at all. Really terrible. I keep wanting to get hits off of it. I can't smell anything anymore. Maybe smell mine because your pickles are so big. You got such a big pickle. Oh yeah. Oh good lord. You want it? You want it? Do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> this is just goes back to me. We're biting our own. <laughs> Good Lord Almighty. <laughs> Nothing says romance like sharing your almond butter. Pickle sam che turkey cheese, cheese sandwich with, with each other. Oh, baby. I'm juiced on this one. What do you mean I know what this is? What do you mean? It's a pickle wrapped in fruit, fruit, uh, fruit roll up with gushers. <laughs> You've never had that before? No. Did you have a childhood? You are. I can't get it off. What is it? A pickle with fruit roll ups on it? Oh my god. The sword and the stone. You gotta have a. You kind of like. You kind of got like the pickle out and not the fruit roll up. Yeet. Oh god. I don't like the way this is. Can you can you tilt it, dude? You have to eat that. Looks like a dick. Trust me. Oh yeah, the sandwich. Uh, the sandwich was like a three. The sandwich was the worst one for sure. Yeah, it's just like there was nothing about it that I liked. Watching you <laughs> just purple <laughs> nurple this this. Oh no no no! You gotta stop playing with your food. <laughs> you roll up pickle. I got okay? it. We we'll give it. you extra gushers. <laughs> I got it. Oh my lord almighty. Back in. What the fuck? Looks like. <laughs> Jocelyn, why did you do this? Okay. Oh, car. I would cheers you, but I don't want you to destroy it. I'm not a fan of pickles, that's for sure. So this is just definitely not right. Definitely you not. Like it? <laughs> Ethan's like not it. a fan, but no, Andre is. I don't like the way that fruit roll up stick to your teeth. True. You gotta like that. Mm mm. I don't like this. I love gushers. <laughs> I love pickles. <laughs> I, I love fruit roll up. Will you give me a mug at the same time? Oh, I have a pamphlet. No. This is definitely <laughs> napkin core. This might be a snack that you have to take a shower after. <laughs> <laughs> that was 
<laughs> he caught that. <laughs> next meal. Next meal. What would you rate that one? Oh, personally. Minus five stars. Divert. I'm gonna rate this two. Mac and cheese boxes. Two, <laughs> Just the one that's at the end, rating it like fucking. And you better make the math right, Dustin. Just like the, the fact that they are rating it based on how I'm many mac and cheese boxes. An eight point seven three repeating. What the uh, fuck? I think, I think it was really good. Why is that specific? Why that specific? Flavors, specific? You know, there's like pickled lemonade, Kool-Aid pickles. Do you have any foods that you're afraid are gonna come up? I have one. Was that the one you texted me about? Yes. The cottage cheese? Yes. If the cottage cheese comes I'm gonna out, eat it. If it's, if it's on the table, it has to be consumed. Well, I will eat it. Mm -hmm. I'll double down for you. You'll take? Yeah, I really, I just don't want anything super jello. Mm -hmm. I just don't like jello. Really? Oh, yeah, that's right. He doesn't like yeah, jello it's whatsoever. It's the of it making me want to die. Mm -hmm. So we've done three so far? Four. Okay. Four? We have 11 more dishes. <laughs> oh my god. For, for 11 what, dishes? A third of the way, not a quarter there's, of the way. A, it's a 15 course meal. We're gonna have to get, decide if we're gonna head on a Michelin star here at the end. Ooh. Did you know that Michelin stars came from the tire company? Did you know that Eric. What the Aragorn fuck? breaks his toe in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is that. A1 sauce. A1 and cottage cheese. Oh no. At a sleepover once, I thought A1 was steak sauce with cottage yolk cheese. Yolk and it was cottage. Oh. It was cottage <laughs> cheese. And I ate it thinking it was yogurt. So imagine going in for a bite of yogurt and it's cottage cheese. I never yak harder in my life. Ethan I is not a fan. Man. You can no, tell no, Ethan is not enjoying himself with this. Sleepover. So then they came and they rubbed it on my face while I was sleeping. Oh my. I woke up and I threw up all over myself. <laughs> Good lord, Ethan. Pick me up. It's five in the morning. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. I, you don't have to do this. I have to do this. Oh god, I please don't do throw up on camera, dude. If you do the show, I'm doing the body. If you must. You have to do this I show, do this I'm doing this. It looks I, devious. Record, it looks terrible. This is really bad, and I like cottage cheese. This is like, I think I can make it to the bathroom in time. Well, there's a sink there. Oh, good lord. Uh, the last time I had Kachis, I had to get obliterated drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the plan was be blackout, so I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> he's like, he's literally squidwording it, like, like into just one so bite episode. Cool. He eats like a tiny sliver of it. <laughs> Oh, I'm not a fan. <laughs> what is this agony? <laughs> Ooh, I think the A1 makes it easier for me because it's so strong. It's a really overpowered. Oh my. I'm giving it a one. Minus five. Seven. I'm giving it a skull and crossbones. <laughs> just, <laughs> just skull, flaming skull and crossbones. Okay. So bad. These are things that people do. This isn't just oh. random food thrown together. I mean, Why would anyone food. want to have this something like a steak sauce and cottage cheese? <laughs> oh no! <What? laughs> Hell no! <laughs> Oh no, that would be terrible. Com combine everything. The whistle. Ah! It reminded me of my grandmother's funeral. Oh my god! This is my Jocelyn. This is your favorite. Rice and ketchup. Rice and ketchup. This looks like the Target logo. Why do you do that? I don't really like ketchup. I don't either. I love ketchup. 
This could maybe work. Okay, <laughs> hear me out. No. This tastes like something I used to eat all the time. <laughs> what did you eat? Tomato soup and rice. Yeah, it actually, literally tastes it just tastes like, like it. it. Campbell's tomato soup. Wow. Like soup is way well, too ketchupy. Yeah. They put too much ketchup in. So it's rice and ketchup. The why I have That's a, hard time a weird common, uh, an odd combination. So I would make videos with my friends. Girl, but I like rice. Would make fake blood out of ketchup. Oh. So it, it just like the smell of it reminds me of like smearing. <laughs> oh, no. on my friends faces to make fake blood i'm ready to add a three out of ten three five five i'm gonna be honest i think that's the second best thing i've had today i don't love it but i don't hate it i'm gonna give it 6.6 .6, almost the number of the beats actually i'm i'm gonna rate it higher than the sandwich i'm gonna yeah. give it a five point two <laughs> pringles and butterscotch pudding <laughs> What? what? This is a thing. Why is that a thing? Butterscotch, Butterscotch pudding with, with fucking oh, Pringles? Nice. It does actually. It smells like a candle. Well, here we go. Why would anybody want Bippy? to eat? Full here. Oh, good lord. Why would someone eat this shit? Someone came up with this. You gotta note that. Desserty. Yeah. Desserty? But also, I don't know if I've ever been in like a place mentally where I would like want to try this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody would be. This is a really bad breakup meal. This is a meal. A breakup <laughs> meal. I'm gonna give this like a seven and a half, I think. Yeah, that it's feels really good. Not bad. Bad. What are you doing for this? I think seven five is a really good rating for this. Okay. Okay. Strawberries. Is this is this Hellman's? Strawberry this is... and Hellman's? Stupid. Are you a mayo person? No, not really. I'm not a big mayo guy. Oh. What is that? Strawberry mayonnaise? Oh. Yes. You do it. You do it. You let me know what like I'm getting. Well, strawberries are good, but why put mayonnaise on it? It's like putting ketchup and mayonnaise together on a burger. You're gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's does that a lot, which is stupid. Oh, what is up with that? It changes everything. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like getting tased. <laughs> Oh, very I bad. It's terrible, but I could see why somebody would love it. Oh, Mitch McConnell would love this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Mitch McConnell ate before he paused. I'm giving that a two point six. I'm gonna give it a one and two and a half Mitch McConnells. This looks awesome. So Cheetos and yogurt. Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Flamin' Hot Cheetos with yogurt? Yo plate. Like strawberry this, yogurt. I feel like this might be good. This one, I have really, really high hopes for, and I've never heard of this as an idea. I think that this could be the key. This is what we, this is the, the key to world peace. This is a keeper. Huh? I don't mind it. You know? I don't mind it, but do I crave it? It's like... Would I eat a spicy strawberry? Yeah, I think I would. I think this might be the best of the bunch. I'm gonna give this an eight. Eight hey, mac and cheese. I think it's just under the the picklezilla. This is gonna be an eight point three two. What it's was the other one? A tenth of a decimal under. Come <laughs> on, bro. What the? I love your squirt pattern. Look at that squirt pattern. <laughs> Oreos and mustard. I'm take a dip here. Oh god. This is gonna make me want to fucking die. This, there's no way that this is good, right? I want to level it up. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna do a schmear. Oh jeez. Can I have a bottle of ketchup, please? Ketchup. What the you fuck? Mustard now. Or mustard? This is how they make them. <laughs> <laughs> why would you do this? Well, First of all, why the fuck would anyone want to have mustard with Oreos? 
Like I've heard of deep fried Oreos, but Jesus Christ, this is just that just sounds this is just terrible. Uh, it's not good. I don't like it. You think? Are pretty inoffensive in my opinion. I'm thinking like a, a five-ish area. Yeah. I think five even. Yeah, five even? This right. feels like right in the middle of the road. I don't want to eat more of them, but I can't eat one if I have to. I'm gotta, gotta say, I, there's, there's a treat brewing in me. Why is it always Why mustard? Why is it so much mustard? That's what they say. What is that? Mm. I, okay, so I already don't like watermelon. It kind of looks oh, like Oh, God it's almighty. Not, watermelon it's on it's mustard? What the fuck? Like $40, like, People $40. are so $40. fucking weird. These are probably the same idiots that came up with pineapple yeah, on pizza. Have a full They're probably those same stooges that think thought of that. It doesn't smell bad. I like, kind of think this one might work. Of all of the mustard experiments. I don't know why I thought that. I don't love it. Um, <laughs> you think? You see that it just makes like mustard water. How many more dishes do we have? That Four? Four more of these? Holy crap. Just that gotta take that one made me see God. <laughs> Listen, everyone, thank you so much for watching this far in the video. Um, it so made me see God. Uh, Justin, we're going to throw it to you. Uh, you're going to do a nice little ad read for your, uh, your new product that you're selling, Justin. So take it away. Uh, you have fun with this one. I have to poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. Mm. Made, made so much mud. <laughs> <laughs> Is this more A1? Balsamic? Soy um, sauce and ice cream? I feel like it could work with the right flavor. Ice and cream and soy sauce? I've heard of people putting french fries in ice cream. Like, I've heard of that. Like, that doesn't sound bad to me. But soy sauce? What ice cream? What's the shit? It starts off really salty, and then it kind of turns into caramel. I kind of like that. It starts off really salty. Really, really salty. Like, it kicks you in the face, and then it chills. When you have Ben and Jerry's, you grab a pint. Happy and Jerry's. Do you eat the whole pint in one sitting? I well, who the hell would? If you don't, did you even get the pint? This... I think is the best dish so far. The only reason why the pickle is better mm -hmm. is that the I, pickle? I finished the pickle. That was a solid 8.7. I'm going to give it 7.7. Seven. So this is actually a snack we eat. Right? Oh. It's an actual snack we eat in Mexico. It's called uh, Toasty Locos. Toasty Locos? Toasty Locos. This looks awesome. Is it kind of like ceviche? It's kind of like ceviche. So what's in this? Jalapeno. Who's that? Mm. Oh hell yeah! Okay, this. That's an interesting combination. Smells like a like awesome. a Mexican, it's you know. Very messy. Oh, Which you think? I'm Look at you! You're grabbing it with your hands. It comes back around actually. At first, I was like, I don't think I like that. It is such a one more bite, one more bite meal. Yeah, that's actually really, really oh good. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm giving that a nine. That's an actual, I guess, delicacy eight, over there in Mexico. Seven. So that wouldn't really be surprising. Good, but did I like it more than the pickle? And I think I did. I want to give this one a 9.08. 9.08? What the hell? Uh, there's a family in there eating chips and salsa. <laughs> Did you know that? On the logo, there's a little family eating chip and salsa. Is there really? Oh, oh my god. Right there. It's two people eating Yeah, chips. yeah, I know that. I, I've heard of that. You know, the arrow in the FedEx logo. The arrow in the FedEx logo, yeah. I feel like that was the calm before the storm, and now we're entering just hell. Are you scared? I, I have, like, existential dread right now. Like, <laughs> going to an existential crisis. Oh, god. 
The worst by far has been the cottage cheese. It, the cottage cheese was so heinous on so many layers. Can we have something worse than the cottage cheese? What? Oh no. Worse? Of course, it's from TikTok. Oh. What is an otter pop? Like a popsicle? Oh, oh, the like, uh, the frozen thing? That pickle is. <laughs> this is a huge. That pickle thing. is well below average. Can you put this in the freezer? What? I eat it? No. It looks like it's somebody's thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go from that, from the end. Okay. I don't know if that's the strap, but I'm gonna do it. An otter pop with pickle. I don't think it'll lot my food. But that's just because it's cold. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that it's just fucking cold. Inside. Are you going to not even pick it up? No. <laughs> if I stand like this, you want to put the plate <laughs> Oh no. You, you gotta try it. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's cool. <laughs> oh good lord. Okay, hit right into it. Do it, Ethan, come on. Be gentle. Be gentle. <laughs> Like, no one could. Oh, you're not bad. It's not bad. I really like, kind of like it. It's just there's so much going on. Yeah. In the head to head pickle fight. <laughs> In the head to head pickle fight, I think I'm going to take the fruit roll up pickle. I really like the fruit roll up pickle. I might go eat one at home. I'm going to say a solid 7.8. I'm going even 8. I would never order it, but if somebody offered me a bite, I'm happily accepting. Wait, this is the last one, isn't it? This is the worst? Oh my god, is that Pepto-Bismol? <laughs> Pepto ice cream? Look at the- What the fuck? <laughs> oh I no. Pepto-Bismol is the shit that you those. take as medicine for your stomach? It's going to- It's, it's ice cream? the medicine off it. I'm surprised we can smell it from the other side. It's a D. It's good in a way, but you don't have the thought in your head like, man, I have to have another sip. The noise off that gave me goosebumps. <laughs> oh, God. It's clearing up my sinuses. This could be... Yeah, this like, could, be, this could be the end of the era. It's been a good run. <laughs> it's not awful, which is the thing. <laughs> like, it just tastes like Pepto Bismol. Because it is. It's, it's just Pepto. Why did it texturally feel like eating sheets of ice. Oh, yeah, it did. Why do I love it? <laughs> I feel like if you had a brownie. <laughs> Why that? Pepto ice cream on top of it. It'd be kind of sick. That was an interesting take. Better than I expected it to be. You want to blend them? The, the mega blend? Yeah, we got it. it, it oh no, they're doing the combo of everything. Including the cottage cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what if this is what grows my hair back? <laughs> <laughs> is this gonna blend? Oh, Will it blend? blend. <laughs> oh my Don't lord. Sure with those, that might be our thing that saves us. One whole mustard watermelon? This is the silliest thing. The I dumbest ever fucking shit in, in the of world. Course. How could we forget? Are you gonna even fit all yeah, this I shit into the blender? The side profile on this thing is otherworldly. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. This is gonna be a bitch to wash. It's taking a while. Top it off 
That's about me. Yeah, put some liquid death in there. Just a little sparkle. Nice. To soften yeah. the... There you go. <laughs> uh. The smell of this concoction rivals anything that has flown up my sinuses in my entire existence. It is heinous. <laughs> oh no! God, why does it smell like berries? I'm not a religious man. <laughs> <laughs> why does this have to do with anything? What does this have to do with? Timothy Chalamet, eat your heart out. Look at the texture on it. Ugh. Ugh. It looks like fucking food you give a baby. It looks like Gerber stuff. Come on, look at the legs on that. This is what everybody turns into at the end of Evangelion. Oh my god. What? You don't have to do this, guys. Why are you doing this? No. You don't have to drink all of it. No. This reminds me a lot of that video that Mark and Tyler did with the popsicles. With the food, with the weird combos. And they did the combo at the very end. I just burped so hard, I farted. Very pleasant, is it? Oh no. <laughs> it is horrific. I didn't even like taste it. It's just all it's all lukewarm and it's all so chunky. And I just don't think it's okay. I'm so sorry. Jocelyn, please. Please don't throw up. Please. Please smell. Oh god, don't make her fucking drink this shit. Now Andre's gone. He's gone. He gone, folks. Watching this video, make sure to. He's outside now. It'll be the link in the description. He just hear him screaming. We'll see you next time. Oh my God. Don't forget to like and subscribe. He's gone. It looks like he's gone through shit. It's like he just watched the two girls one cup video. Uh, okay, we can cut. <clears throat> oh, we don't need to. You don't I need to rate you. it. <laughs> Why would you need to rate that? You already know the answer. It's horrendous. So that was really interesting. Some of the food combinations, like hot Cheetos with yo plate yogurt, strawberries, and you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. And mayonnaise, I'm assuming. And also Oreos with mustard. Watermelons and mustard. Ketchup and rice. Which doesn't sound bad. Pringles with butterscotch pudding. Cottage cheese and A1 steak sauce. Ice cream with soy sauce. And frozen Pepnol. Pepnol Bismol, you know, medicine. What the fuck? Like, really, what the flying fuck? Like, what are those food... Like, who the fuck... And, of course, TikTok. It's, of course... W was it the the, the uh, pep Pepdoll one? Was it that? That was the one from the TikTok, right? That figures, because people are fucking bored, and they just want people to react accordingly... And they just come up with the stupidest shit trends on TikTok. Ugh. Good lord. This is why I'm really on TikTok to begin with. <laughs> I, I don't have to see the horrors that is on there and shit. Yeah, let's make, let's freeze up Pepto-Bismol medicine and make that, and eat it like ice cream. Let's put a, you know, an Otter Pop inside a pickle. Let's put fruit roll-ups and, you know, fruit gushers 
in and and wrap it in a pickle. Wrap a pickle in it. Like what the fuck? Ugh. Like I thought French fries and ice cream was tame, but this is wor and I thought pineapple and pizza as well was, you know, a weird choice, a weird combo, but like it's also like the wor the worst combination I've ever had. Like I remember vividly was eating some burgers at Wendy's that would have ketchup but also mayonnaise on it. Why the fuck is that a thing? Why the hell is ketchup and mayonnaise a good combination? That is not. It just... When I was eating it, and I was forced to by my dad when I was younger, and I'm like... And I'm thinking to myself, why is this a thing? Who in Wendy's thought, yeah, that's a great idea. Was it the original guy who made the, the, the restaurant to begin with? Like, seriously, he thought that was good? Whoever thought that this was good and that could be sold for a lot of people to eat. God almighty. There's something wrong with you. Ugh. I'm just getting flashbacks to those days. Good lord. But Nandre was pretty funny at times. Especially his laugh was pretty hilarious. He had a very funny laugh. The wheezing and stuff. But that goddamn... They did the combination at the very end. But of everything. Literally everything that they had in this video. And it looked like literally fucking Gerber baby fucking baby food. Mixed up with vomit. Very terrible. As you can probably tell. But uh, overall... <laughs> That was really fun. Very hilarious just, at just the shit that was going on. And I'm like just thinking to myself, why do we eat this shit? Who came up? We, the fact that we as a species came up with this. Like, really, who the fuck thought, oh, cottage cheese and A1 steak sauce. Oh, frozen Pepto-Bismol medicine. Like, that's great. Like, Really? Cottage cheese and A1 steak sauce. Mustard and Oreos. What? Uh, Alrighty. Enough ramblings. That's really all I gotta say. But now we gotta get back into the prop hunt chaos as we, as we should. You know? So let's get back into the chaos of G Markiplier's prop hunt series. Since we finished up, you know, his Trouble in Terrorist Town series recently. So... We might as well get right into that. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. If you did it, the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because my call as a marker part, Jack Set the Guy, myself. I already snack with the cosplays on there, so go check it out. And be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So, until next time, JRDL96 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.